We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on David Long, the newest Miami Dolphins linebacker, just signed in free agency, and I'm a huge fan of this pickup. I actually watched a lot of his film before he signed, and I love him as a player. He's a very good run defender, and he's solid overall in coverage, and this pickup's so great for so many reasons. Like, the value is amazing. Only two years, $11 million, which was absolutely surprising to me. I did not expect it to be that low, and he just fits such a huge need, especially in this Fangio defense, because Fangio runs more light boxes than, like, any other defensive coordinator in the NFL. So you need to have really good defend run defenders that play down in the box. And David Long is one of those guys. He takes on blocks with ferocity. He's very violent at the point of attack. He can also make guys miss when they're un uncovered offensive linemen, but still remain disciplined to his gap. And he just makes plays all over the field. And in coverage, he's not a liability. He'll make some plays here and there. Uh, definitely a big time playmaker and I just love the energy he plays with as a Mike linebacker. He's very smart. He can be that sort of middle guy that leads the defense and I just love this signing so much. It's one of my favorite signings the Dolphins have ever made just from the standpoint of he's a great player. It's great value and he's also a big need for this team. Linebacker is definitely an area where they were at their weakest on defense last year. So let's get right into this one. Got long number 51. There's a motion pre-snap so he gets bumped down over to be just the middle of the field, lined up, head up, over the center. And he becomes this B-gap defender once 93 slides over. And look how quickly he just shoots downfield. He's just reading this combo block through to the fullback as well. And once the fullback takes a step this way, he's not falling for the counter step from the running back. He just shoots downfield, wants to get to this gap because he's seeing this combo happen on 93. So he takes on, drops the right shoulder into the offensive lineman right here. So he maintains his gap. He shows off some play strength. To not get moved here at all by an offensive lineman. And this is impressive too because Long is an undersized linebacker. He's not very big. And this is good technique. Get that one hand. Start to extend it. He gets it into like the sternum. Straight into the chest of the offensive lineman. Now he's in complete control of his gap. And he can play this with both ways. You don't want to get... Once you get two hands on, then you want to get one hand to extend. So you can play that gap right here. Then the running back extends right into him and he gets a tackle for loss he just makes so many plays like this over and over on his film his run defense is truly outstanding displays like this are littered all over his film where offensive linemen try to reach him at the second level pretty much you know coming in uncovered this offensive lineman only really throws a hand at the defensive tackle so he's not like comboing and reaching the second level he's pretty much just getting to the second level instantly and long is recognizing the play so quickly the flow that he is able to beat this offensive lineman to the point of the attack He's got the quickness, and then look at him just like read this running back to bend this back, and then knows he's coming straight into this hole. He just has this great anticipation feel, because based on Dylan's angle right here, it might look like he's coming here, but Long is reading the leverage of his own defenders, knowing the cutback's going to happen. He's still able to fit into his run gap and help make this tackle for loss. Impressive play from a processing standpoint and athletic standpoint from Long. This is where that he made that money. In free agency like th those types of plays and those are going to be exactly what he does for the dolphins uh for the next two years at least he just does such a great job working off these combo blocks just reading them they try to climb to the second level he sets this up makes it look like number 76 here like he's going to go into the inside gap so this guy tries to climb to him and once he starts to climb he just shoots in behind his defensive lineman still filling his gap and able to you know bend this slow this down he plays very fast but then comes under control very quickly so he can you know make these tackles he's very active around the line of scrimmage he loves to shoot downfield but doesn't get too over aggressive to where he takes himself out of plays that time he's a disciplined he has that like aggressive disciplined play style which has a nice balance of those and i love that for a linebacker you don't want a, a guy who's too over aggressive you don't want a guy who plays timid and long is that perfect balance of a player versus the run and it's that also the mental processing that he displays on every play he that's where he really makes his money to get himself into position and then he uses that physicality and athleticism to finish these plays solid play here in coverage long starts off as like he's spot dropping because he's seeing the tight end block here but once he sees him work out of the flat he's just matching this over the top he's playing this top down match style of defense and he just closes instantly, so it's off some nice range. He takes a great angle to finish this tackle. Doesn't allow this to, you know, gain too many yards. And he just sees it coming the entire way, knowing that's probably where it's going to go. He's playing against the Bengals too. And Burrow is the type of guy, if he doesn't have his uh, single high read, he's going to, you know, 
dump it down a lot. That's just this his style of play. He takes a lot of opportunities versus single high, but there they're running quarters, so he just dumps it down. Long sees it and makes a play. Love this play from Long. I love how quickly he's able to adapt on the fly. Like this offensive lineman has the angle, has the cutoff, and usually when you have to completely avoid an offensive lineman that's uncovered like this, like there's so much space here, and usually linebacker will either try to go over the top because they see the outside zone, but he just quickly makes an instinctual decision just to undercut it instantly, and it's a very quick move by him. It gets underneath and then gets back on his path. So the athleticism, the instincts to only, you know, limit this play right here. It's very difficult to just completely avoid an alignment without sort of taking yourself out of the play. They're big people. It's not easy to just completely make them miss like that. But he does a great job. Just excellent block avoidance out in space, down in the box. That's why I love this fit for Miami and him in the light boxes because he can just make these plays where he's uncovered alignment all day long long right here and he shows off some great screen awareness he's got a very instinctive feel versus these screens he just recognizes the blocks right away sees the running back and what he, sort of angle he's taking pre-snap he works the running back motions to his side sort of changes spots pre-snap and now he's sort of matched up on him and once he sees him take that angle to the outside like that he feels his leverage he sort of matches it he sees the offensive lineman his peripheral vision started you know working to the outside so he shoots downfield takes that angle to completely avoid the offensive lineman and force him back into the help of the defensive tackle and then helps make this tackle for loss on P. Ryan right there. An excellent play. He can make a lot of plays downhill like this when passes are thrown in front of him. He has a really great feel when he can keep his eyes on the quarterback or on the running back slash tight end that he's reading down in the flat. Long Lined up in the box pre-snap, but with the motion, he ends up getting lined up out at like a deep corner position which is interesting to see like a linebacker actually get up here lined up outside and he didn't look uncomfortable by any means he just stayed out being sort of that flat defender didn't just instantly shoot down on number 11 either he sort of stayed over the top just in case anything came into his zone like this deep out route but once he sees burrow start to commit to throw this down the flat he's breaking anticipating this and he actually gets the incompletion forced here because he times this perfectly the timing everything about it range he loves to play through he actually has good ball skills he'll get his interceptions and when he has a chance to make a play on the ball he will he'll play through the hands he'll collide force an incompletion like that which i think is helpful as a linebacker it's not like a you know a trait you really need to have to be a successful linebacker but ball skills always helps another playmaker added to this defense i truly think with this defense adding the talents that it's adding with fangio behind it like this could be a a top five defense in the league with how the offense played last year this would be one of the best teams in the league which is very you know surprising as a Dolphins fan because that has not happened too often in our lifetime to have like a top defense and a top offense so hopefully they can you know fit this window in they don't have too long of a window I would say about two years to get the Super Bowl in before you know the Tua has to get either a big contract or they have to move on we'll see where they go with that but love this pickup David Long one of my favorite free agent signings, I'll say, that they've ever made. That long right here, lined up kind of behind this pole. And uh, this is just great instincts to feel the tight end coming from across the formation. Because usually, you know, they're reading from the guard to the tight end to the running back. They're making like a triangle read. He starts off feeling the flow right here, reading this mesh point now. And once this, like, this DN is starting to commit downhill to take on this, uh, this running back here. And that's who he's reading. And once Long sort of feels this, he starts to change directions, feels the tight end coming from across the formation, and instantly is able to match that with his footwork. Great job with his instincts, his change of direction. Doesn't overflow here. You, like, you can see him pretty much starting to feel this right away with the motion and everything. He's quickly recognizing he's a great... He does a really good job for his play action too, but just versus the read option, getting the ball out with another pass option out in the flat, RPO. He's a very instinctive player in pretty much every area you can ask for a linebacker. This play from Long is just really fun. Just him reading the pulling guard, getting over the top, scraping, working through traffic, and then throwing in a spin move as well. I mean, he's just having fun out here. But this is like a really nice play because watch, they have the motion with the tight end. And now he's also reading 66 pull. So he knows the run is coming to this side. And now he has to work over this three-man block. And once he sees Gordon, he's just reading Gordon through all this traffic. He sees Gordon commit to the outside so he's just scraping over the top working through the traffic working through it sees him bounce again now he's just completely lined up with him he spins off the 
pulling O linemen that end up being to the outside and still putting himself into position to make a tackle like that's just a creative play but from like the start of the play it was very technical with his instincts processing understanding where he needs to be like once that alignment pulls all the gaps change he can scrape over the top and just be a playmaker and then he just starts having some fun towards the end and still ends up making the play another example of long just being great down in the box avoiding offensive linemen out in space like as soon as they start to climb like he feels this he reads these combo box so quickly he feels the flow of the play he sees the alignment quickly climb to the second level after you know helping his guard uh get this reach block on this guard here and he quickly slips underneath it he does it so fast so efficiently he doesn't waste any steps he's instantly able to avoid the offensive lineman and stay on his path and help make the tackle for loss he just does this over and over and over again it's so impressive i just can't believe they got him for two years 11 million just a high energy player and a very aggressive player when long has those opportunities where he's not having no lineman quickly reach him at the second level he just shoots downhill he sees the gap open up look how quickly he feels the flow of this outside zone play the o-line has not reached out to him yet so he just shoots down hill gets to this gap 54 tries to get his hands on him but he's too quick processing this processing this too fast and just gets downhill and makes this you know seven yard loss great job by the d-line too but this is what happens when you're able to get long uncovered and just have him play with some freedom he makes big time plays like that we got long here in the middle of the field they're running cover one rat he is the rat defender linebacker middle of the field and he gets an interception here it's a third and three situation and they run you know this mesh concept over the middle of the field this is a very man beating uh beats man coverage this type of concept and he works over the top to help on this crosser here but once this is already passed now he starts to just read the quarterback's eyes knowing that it's kind of late to throw this so he just drops back into the middle of the field great job field instincts over the middle doing your job come off your initial route right here you know you're the free zone man you take away help on the initial crosser and they try to throw that sit route behind it this is what they do a lot you know the initial mess mesh and then they throw you know like this guy running the spot route over the middle of the field like this and he takes it away great understanding of route concepts getting the interception on a big down big time situation he makes these types of plays actually like i wouldn't say those are like his b biggest strongest plays that he makes all the times but they do happen at least a little bit which is nice to see for a linebacker that's so good versus the run that he has this type of impact versus the pass from time to time Last play that I'm break down, we got Long right here, down in the red zone. This is the last play of the game, actually, because he gets the game ceiling interception. And I love this play from start to finish. Love how instantly Mc with McLaurin coming to the inside towards his zone, he gets physical, disrupts the route timing. You know, it's within five yards. Ball hasn't been thrown yet. That's clean. You can do that. He throws that timing off. And then you think, you know, he might stay with this. Carry McLaurin, he comes off of it, keeps his eyes on the QB, starts to, you know, go towards this receiver right here they try to hit him on the angle route behind it but he's just reading it the whole way eyes great awareness great processing i really just love this pickup love that he's able to get you know this big time play <laughs> you know ends up possibly getting a big return i don't know if he was down or not but just shows off some athleticism there but that was the last play of the game for their defense long and excellent excellent player excellent signing for this team if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time peace peace